quite know if we're there just yet. He has the big hockey board behind the bench. He was trying to get a couple of the guys to pay attention, but they were a little bit more excited to, uh, to get on the ice and, and do the banana drill and, and fire some pucks. Before. I mean, they're out there doing it right now. I've seen a few pucks go in the net. That's going to look good for them uh, going into it. I think same goes for West Kelowna. A couple of big kids going in for their practice breakaways, and they're looking pretty good Now, both someone who's not initiated like myself. <laughs> both goaltenders. This is their first year playing in between the pipes. As a former minor league hockey goalie myself, I can tell you it is stressful. It is at times lonely, but there's no better feeling in the entire world than when you rob someone who thought they were going to score a goal for sure. <laughs> so uh, starting in goal for the West Cologne Adam Panthers, it's number 29, William Pettyjohn, and in between the pipes of the Penticton Thunder, it is number 30, Jacob Atkins. Both of them, might I add, again, their first year in the pipe. So uh, it's it's a very difficult position because you are just all alone on an island at times. I believe it. Now, both teams are pretty much done warm-up. We'll be getting ready for the opening face-off here in just a moment. And quickly, we'll roll through the rosters for both teams, Alicia. The West Kelowna Panthers, uh, number three is James Jeske. Number four, Mason Harper. Number five, Jack Nero. Five, uh, number six is Ewan Gillingham. Seven, Isher Dollywall. Eight, Maddox Christensen. Nine, Broden Hubbard, who we chatted with on Friday. He was so excited. Number 10, Connor Vaudry. Broden said he's going to score two goals at least today. So, so we're so watching for it. Holding to that. Number 11, Talon Thiessen. Uh, number 12 is Levi Vance. 14, Nick Lipitech. Number 15, Grady Cochran. 16, Volton Anthony. And number 19 is Nolan Morch. We've gone through the goalies already. As for the Penticton Thunder, number three is Liam Pratt. Number four, Reese Verrier. Six is Caleb Clark. Seven is Curtis Anderson. Eight, Logan McClellan. Nine, Supreme Carnge. Ten, Caden Bradley. Number 11 is Benson Ford. 13, Jack Dodds not here today. Number 14, Carter Dole. Number 17 is Barrett Scherger. And number 19, Nathan Bestman. With that, we are ready for the opening draw. Here we are in West Kelowna. It is the West Kelowna Adam Panthers going right to left on your radio dial. As for the Penticton Thunder, they're going from left to right. Easter Dollywall doing some circles in the back end. His defense partner is Lepetich on the right side. Not sure what the holdup is here, but it seems like the referee is in the time box trying to get the right uh, time up on the scoreboard here, Alicia. It's not a zero minute period. It shouldn't be, <laughs> generally. <laughs> the kids are ready though. They really are skating circles. Just like, can we go, can we go, can we go? Mom, are we there yet? That's what it feels like as we wait for puck drop. Opening face off, we'll see Broden Hubbard and Caleb Clark battling for first possession of the puck in this game here this afternoon. And it is nice that the kids have the afternoon games. That way we can get home and uh, Enjoy the rest of a Saturday, and the kids and the parents can enjoy the rest of a Saturday and an opportunity to hang out and spend some time together. I think anytime hockey parents don't have to leave their house at 5 a.m., they're happy. <laughs> here we go. 20 minutes up on the clock. It is the West Kelowna Adam Panthers and the Penticton Thunder here live from Royal LePage Place in West K. Brad Malisha from K96.3. So happy to be here doing play-by-play -play for this game this afternoon. And really excited to see some kids get real pumped up when they score a goal or do something good or crash into each other and generally just be really cute. Really excited to have Bradley Carp here with the call because he knows what he's doing. Opening draw is won by Pentick and it's sled back to Liam Pratt on right defense. Intercepted by Anthony, moved into the offensive zone. Penticton and regains in their own end. On the left side, Pratt moves it up the wall to number 17, Barrett Sugar. Picked off by Broden Hubbard on the right side. Fires a puck in, that one rolls in behind the goal. Chased out of the left-hand corner by Jack Monroe. He's intercepted there by a member of the Penticton Thunder. Monroe tries to fire it out in front, lost in the skates of Anthony. Puck comes near the blue line, and the Thunder are barely just able to clear as it's moved up by Logan McClellan. On the right-hand side, McClellan streaking through the zone. Pocket picked by Dollywall. Excellent defensive play as he circles out the right-hand dock. Dollywall leading the charge for the Panthers. He's chugging up the right-hand side. Great move alongside Benson for Dollywall coming down the right-hand side. In behind the goal. Feeds it in front. Big save by Jacob Atkins. And he covers the puck as the Panthers are pushing a minute into this game. Exciting action. Thrilling. These kids are good. I'm very impressed so far. Better crossovers than I have some. Every single one of them skates better than I ever have <laughs> in my life. Face-off is to the left of Jacob Atkins, a first-year goaltender. His first test, a fairly easy cover-up as the puck from behind by Dollywall was intercepted. Thunder win the draw, but it's picked off by Christensen. Bent loose puck in front for Morch. A shot fired wide left, and diving out to make the save was Atkins. And the puck cleared to the blue line, but not out by the Thunder. Intercepted. Here's a step for Penticton down the left-hand side. The Penticton Thunder coming into the offensive zone in the left-hand corner. Puck slid out in front, intercepted by Vance. He's got it. He'll try and clear to the blue line, but not out. 
It is Sequin Conch keeping the puck in. Both teams looking like a traffic jam on Harvey on a Saturday afternoon. Here's Thiessen up the right-hand side. Puck in his skates. Thiessen on a breakaway. Talon Thiessen all alone. Shoot. Scores! Talon Thiessen opens the scoring for the West Kelowna Panthers. Very impressive. This is uh, very much what you see in the younger ages of sports. They all bunch up and then someone gets away. And that's how we got this first goal here in West Kelowna. It is a 1-0 lead for the Panthers. A great individual effort by Talon Thiessen. You see a left-hand shot, shot streaking down the right-hand side, cuts in front, and an excellent move to go between the legs of Jacob Atkins. Draw at center ice is won by the Panthers. Picked off by the Thunder and moved to the offensive blue line. A good flick by Dollywall moves into the offensive zone for West Kelowna. Liam Pratt, an excellent skater, back to get it in his own end. In behind his goal, shoving the puck up the right-hand wall. That one's taken by Caleb Clark. Clark, a nifty move around Harper, but can't get it past Dollywall at center. It's stuck right back in by West Kelowna. Ben Tickton trying to clear up the right-hand side again. Once more, there's Dollywall. Great move around his man. Dollywall tries to cut in. Still has the puck on his backhand forehand. Right in front, the shot. Rebound, chance, and it's over the goal by James Jeske. Cochran, the offensive zone for West Kelowna, moves it around to the open end of the ice, hoping one of his teammates is there, but instead it's Liam Pratt who's been all over the ice for Penticton in this one. Thunder can't quite clear, it's kept in by the Panthers. Harper, down the left side, intercepted by Benson Ford, tries to clear, Cochran's there, takes a swipe at it, picked off by Penticton and reversed around by Cochran again. Another chance this time for Benson to clear, but he can't, it's kept in by Dollywall. I'm impressed at the knowledge of the kids at this age, how well they know offsides are. They, I think that's probably one of the first lessons at this level that they try to get into their heads. As a goaltender, it took me a long time to figure out. You just stay in your net. <laughs> Here's Dollywall, an excellent move at the blue line. He's the left side dot. Dollywall waits patiently, fires a shot, blocked in front by Liam Pratt. Great job sacrificing the body. Centering pass by West Cologne is intercepted and moved down the ice, and that'll relieve the pressure for Penticton. Will change things up on the blue line, and there's the first touch of the puck for William Petty John as he hangs on to it with a member of the Penticton Thunder digging at him. I wanted to see if he could get that puck. He was trying. <laughs> as, uh, as a goaltender, you're never very happy when someone from the opposing team is trying to dig at I think that's true in any sport. As someone who used to play soccer and was kicked in the head a few times, I can tell you it's not fun. And that's what happens. Thanks. Face off is to the left of Petty John. It is a 1-0 lead for West Kelowna here this afternoon. Draw one by the Panthers. Moved up the right side by Lepetich. He's harassed by Barrett Scherger, and West Kelowna can't quite clear. An opportunity here for Logan McClellan. He chops a backhander, easily shuffled aside by Petty John into the left side corner. Puck moves up the left side wall and cleared all the way down to the Penticton zone by West Kelowna. Back to get it as Curtis Anderson has Hubbard chasing in on him. Anderson and Hubbard battling for the puck to the left of the goal. Anderson wins and bumps it up the right side wall. That was a partial opportunity for Penticton, a three on two. Nice centering feed off to Logan McClellan. He carries him to the offensive side. Sequin Conj on it. Bumped away by West Kelowna and moved back into the Penticton zone. Curtis Anderson moves it to center. Here's Jack Monroe. Tries to evade the fourth check of the Penticton Thunder and manages to clear to center, not for long, delayed offside. Penticton needs to clear. And that is an offside call just after I talked about how well they seem to know they're offside. You jinxed it. Come on, Brad. <laughs> it's all my fault. The kids can hear you, don't you know? <laughs> Talon Thiessen, the opening goal in this game, and the only one at this point, coming about uh, a minute and a half into the opening frame. And it is a 1-0 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers, taking on the Penticton Thunder here this afternoon. Early in the season, this is the first league game for both teams, and Penticton only having two practices together, so they're really just trying to get a feel for each other out there on the ice today. I will say West Kelowna really knows, looks like they know what they're doing. I think that that uh, preseason game really helped them to gel as a team. You kind of figure out where the guys are going to be, where your teammates are. And here's Dollywall. He's been all over the ice, and that is an offside call. More to step ahead of him. And Dollywall was looking to lead another rush. Faceoff will come just outside the Penticton zone. Caleb Clark. 
And the goal scorer, or excuse me, Morch will be taking this face off. Nolan Morch, number 19 for the West Kelowna Panthers. Draw one by Morch, tries to shovel it ahead into the offensive zone. Clark intercepts and bumps right in front of the West Kelowna bench. Beacon on the left-hand side, steps inside his line by Benson Ford and dumped all the way down the ice by Penticton. That one will slide to William Pettyjohn, who almost looks bored, shoving it into the corner. Dollywall being harassed, tries to clear, gets away from his man, a nice move, and sidesteps away, pushing the puck up the right side wall. Has a little help in March. March over the line this time. No offside there, carries it into the offensive end. Liam Pratt intercepts from him. Tries to bump it around the puck. Christensen almost intercepts. Would have been a great opportunity with two men sitting in front. Liam Pratt reversing the puck up the right side wall. Dollywall excellently manages to keep the puck in. Feeds in front for Vance. He can't get good wood on it. And it's knocked away by number 17, Barrett Scherger of Penticton. Up the right side is Caden Bradley. Bradley gets the puck into the offensive zone. Thiessen is there to intercept. And he feeds it in front to Dollywall. Esher Dollywall, a great move around his man, leading the rush from the back end. Esher Dollywall on a partial break. He's being harassed by Caleb Clark. Dollywall coming on the right side, gets bumped off the puck and loses sight of it. Ben Tickton takes advantage, intercepts and clears down the ice. And you know, you've seen in the new age NHL, Alicia, I know that you are a fan of the Vancouver Canucks and defensemen these days, they can all skate. Quinn Hughes, an example of that. Isha Dalduwal, an excellent skater on the back end for the West Kelowna Panthers. This kid's got a lot of energy. He's probably got more energy on this shift than I've ever had in my whole life on the ice, so. Puck kept great. in at the blue line by Nathan Bester. Fired into the corner. Christensen manages to reverse it in the neutral zone, where it's taken by Curtis Anderson. Chopped in on the backhand by Carter Dole. Dollywall keeping the puck away from his man, but he can't clear. Coming in off the bench on the left side, a sequin conj, and Dollywall again back to get the puck. Chops it up the wall looking for Cochran. Kept into the blue line by Penticton. Dollywall again controlling. Nine minutes gone in the opening frame here in this game. It's a 1-0 lead for West Kelowna over the Penticton Thunder in the opening game of this Adam House League season. No better feeling than the first game of the year. It's good to get out the skate. And Harper, excellent move around his man, gets caught up in the stick of Carter Dole. Taken down the right side, long shot, a drive, a glove save just off the line by William Pettyjohn as he manages to keep that one. It was tipped in front. Pettyjohn was going one way, the puck the other, stuck out the stick and laid on it with the trapper. And he's pretty happy with that save. Excellent goal in this game so far, considering it's the first year for both these goalies. And I was talking to William's dad, Jason, and he had been asking to be a goaltender for a couple of years, and most parents smartly try and sway their kids <laughs> from doing that because it's very expensive and very stressful for the kid and for the parents. And uh, he told William, once you're the best skater on the team, and you can be the goalie. That was the case last year, and here he is between the pipes doing a great job this afternoon. Good chance for West Kelowna. The shot fired wide, kept in at the blue line by the Panthers. Lepichich. Tries to move the puck into the offensive zone. Anthony has it stuck in his skates. Hubbard keeps it in the offensive side. Lepetic coming down the right-hand wing. Good set of wheels on him around his man, moving out in front. Lepetic just shot that one in behind the goal. Monroe falls with his man. And the puck squirts free to Penticton momentarily. Hubbard swipes it ahead. Taken by Reese Verrier. Up the left-hand side, he's rubbed out by Hubbard. Chance here for Caden Bradley. Intercepted by West Kelowna. And moving up the right-hand side is Hubbard. Likes to go by the nickname of Hubs, Alicia. He told us that on Friday. He does. That's what he prefers to go by on ice. Hubs moving the puck into the offensive zone. He's battling against the wall for it. And the puck comes out to Anthony. Long range shot. That one lost in front. Rebound chance. Cleared away. Great defensive play by Liam Pratt. Lepetic keeps it in the offensive zone. A nice move to swipe the puck away from Logan McClellan. Lepetic tries to keep it in. That one's intercepted by Pratt, and he'll move the puck up the right-hand side. Here's Liam Pratt, a two-on-one. Pratt moving around his man, Voju. A long-range shot. William John, William Pettyjohn, excuse me, moves the puck into the corner with a stick. Backhand swipe by Caden Bradley is intercepted. 
And West Kelowna trying to clear. They finally do as Hubbard moves it all the way down the ice. Eight minutes to go in the opening frame. It's a one nothing lead for West Kelowna. I love how frantic these line changes are. Like the kids here at the coach are like, oh, yeah, I got to go. Oh, right. I can't play all 60 minutes on the ice. Sorry, coach. As much as you want to. Here comes Ben Tickton. Christensen battling for the puck. Swiped away by the Thunder and kept in at the blue line. The offensive zone, great desperation dive there by number four, Reese Verrier. West Kelowna finally clears, knocked right back in by Curtis Anderson. Well, Alicia, we have a wireless microphone. We're set up to try and do play, player interviews. Why don't we get you down there and try and get one of the guys? Yeah, see I'll how go feel? for a walk and see if we can uh, talk to one of these kids and get them on air. All right. It is a 1-0 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers through this game. Seven minutes to go in the opening frame. It is run time if you're keeping track at home. I, I don't have a shot clock for you. I apologize. I can only do so many things at once. And Alicia is off. She'll try and grab one of the players from either one of the teams. I think she'll probably go try and see West Kelowna first. And a face-off just outside of the Panthers zone is won by West Kelowna. Moved into the offensive zone. Here's Christensen a chance. He'll be the first man on the puck, but it is an icing called against the Panthers, and the puck will go back to the other end of the ice. Both teams playing their first official league game. The Panthers did play earlier on last week, and they had a pretty decisive win in their first opportunity to gel together as a team. This is the first chance on the ice for Penticton together as a unit. They did have two practices, as their coach Chris Atkins told me. And it's just nice to see the kids back on the ice given everything that's happening in 2020 and all the COVID protocols. Good for them to be able to get outside, get together with their buddies. A little exercise goes a long way and a face off to the left of William Pettyjohn is won by West Kelowna. Harper grabs it in the right hand corner. Tries to deke through two members of the Thunder, loses the puck, but luckily for him, Lepetic is able to dance away with it. All of a sudden, it's a three on one for West Kelowna. Lepetic tries to move around his man, can't do so. The rebound off the poke check is picked up by Harper. He comes down the left hand side. Harper harassed from behind by Curtis Anderson, and Penticton is able to move that chance away off the wall. Puck cleared down the ice by Nathan Bester. That'll roll all the way to Patty John. And We'll just cover the puck up and swipe it into the corner for Dollywall. Five and a half to go in the opening frame. It's a one nothing lead for West Kelowna. Dollywall dances around his man. He's such a great skater. Good hands on him too. Intercepted by Besser. Besser. Can't keep the puck in the offensive zone. It's dumped in by Curtis Anderson. And as Harper moves the puck into the offensive zone, we'll send the... Call down to Alicia Williams, who's a member of the West Kelowna Panthers. All right, Panthers. we are here ice side. We are joined by Ewan Gillingham. Ewan, how do you think the game is going so far, buddy? I think it's going to be good. Did you look to know that your team was up one nothing? <laughs> and just oh, it looks like we got another one. Look at that. Let's let's hear a big cheer for that. <laughs> Just as you were talking with him, Alicia, uh, James Jeske down the left-hand side, a shot from the left end just beats Jacob Atkins past the left pad, a great move, and it is a 2-0 goal lead for the West Kelowna Panthers, Alicia. Now your team is up 2-0. You said you listen to K96.3 in the morning, very good life choices. Who's your favorite hockey team? Oilers. Oilers, who's your favorite player? Connor McDavid, we do call him McJesus for a reason. Is that who you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to play for that team? Maybe. Do you think you're going to make the show? What position do you play? Oh, <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to let you get back to the game, Mr. Defender. Get on it. That is Ewan from West Kelowna. Thank you, Alicia. And another chance for the Panthers. This time a big save. The goal on the line by Jacob Atkins. He manages to keep the puck out. And the West Kelowna Panthers are pushing here with just about three and a half to go in the opening frame. Great pressure by West Kelowna. Jacob Atkins under fire in this one. It is his first year as a goaltender. It's such a tough position to come to and play in. And there's a shot off the draw by Anthony. Big save by Atkins. Swipes the puck away with the paddle of his stick. And it's moved up the ice by Penticton. Here come the Thunder barreling ahead. Hubbard intercepts at center. Moved off the right-hand side. Here's Reese Verrier. Verrier with a long range shot. That one way off. 
but the bounce off the end boards, bounces in front, great chance, he scores! Caden Bradley draws Penn to one and one. And there's no such thing as a bad shot. Reese Verrier banking it off the end boards, kind of like Nick Lidstrom used to do for the Detroit Red Wings back in the day. The rebound bounces in front. William Pettyjohn couldn't corral it. And there's the opportunity for Caden Bradley, the first goal of the season for the Penticton Thunder. It is a 2-1 lead for West Kelowna. Two and a bit to go in the opening frame as the Panthers move the puck over the offensive line. It's who else but Dollywall on the left-hand dot. Dollywall coming in, a great move to his back end. The shot, big save by Atkins, and he's able to move the puck into the corner. Ben Tickton trying to bounce the puck ahead, intercepted by Vance, and the Thunder will try and advance into neutral territory where it's taken by Logan McClellan. Not for long as it's scooped up by Christensen. Christensen's long range pass off the body, that one taken by Pentick, and a shot shoveled away by Pettyjohn, and moved up the left hand side by West Kelowna. Pentickton keeps the puck in. Another long distance shot this side, time from the right side wall is kicked away by Pettyjohn. And the West Kelowna Thunder, the Panthers, excuse me. Still playing in their defensive end. Great pressure here for Penticton. Another shot. Big save by Petty John. That one moved into the right side corner off the stick of Reese Verrier. Lepitich. Can't clear. Kept in by Penticton again. Verrier. Can't get a shot in on goal. Monroe now trying to move away with it. Lepitich clears ahead to Christensen. He has an opportunity to clear here, and he does. And we'll go back down to Alicia Williams at ice level. Find ice side by number 16, Anthony Volton. Anthony, how do you think the game is going so far? Pretty good. Pretty good? So what position do you play? Center and right wing. Center and right wing. Do you have any favorite uh, NHL players that you look up to? Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid seems to be a popular answer today. What's your favorite team? San Jose Sharks. Both the Sharks and the Oilers. Some pretty big shoes to fill. Do you hope to be in the show one day? Yes. Have you been practicing hard? All right, good luck on the ice out there, Volton. Thank you, Alicia. There's Volton Anthony, number 16 of the West Kelowna Panthers. You do have a 2-1 lead. With 35 seconds to go in the opening frame here this afternoon at Royal LePage Place in West K. Face off to the left of Petty John is won by the Panthers. Here's Harper dancing through the neutral zone. Puck poked away intelligently by Caleb Clark. He's been great defensively so far today. Long range pass, hops over the stick of Cochran in a foot raise, he won't beat Benson Ford. Dying seconds, a shot by Cochran's off the mark. 15 seconds to go in the opening frame here. There's a 2-1 lead for West Cologne over Penticton. Puck is loose in the neutral zone. Fallon Thiessen, the opening goal scorer in this game, scored a beauty on the breakaway, just dumps the puck in to burn off the rest of the time on the clock. Through 20 minutes of play, the West Cologne Panthers lead this game by a 2-1 score over the Penticton Thunder. And it looks like we'll go back down to Alicia, who is great side with the coach, Jason Pettyjohn. And we are joined ice side by head coach Jason Pettyjohn. Thanks so much for joining me. How do you think that first period went? I think it went pretty good. Uh, you know, went 2-1. I would like to see a little better uh, defense. But, uh, you know, 19-year-old kids, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, first game of the season, got to let the hustle out there, two goals already. And then, unfortunately, we saw Jeske just skating off on his little wheels. What happened there? Yeah, I, I actually didn't see the play, but he went in and scored the goal. And then afterwards, I think he went awkwardly into the board. So I hope he's OK when he left the ice, but uh, he is walking. And what are you hoping to see from the boys as we head into the second period? I'm always of the opinion we need more defense. So I want to see them uh, defend harder and protect their goalie. Thank you so much. That's coach Jason Pettyjohn. Well, it makes sense that the head coach, Jason Pettyjohn, would want to see more defense and protect the goalie, considering his son is the goalie, William Pettyjohn. But that makes sense. Uh, it is a 2-1 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers. And the Penticton Thunder, of course, this is their first game. This team hasn't played together all year. Just there's two practices heading into this one. And during the intermission, Chris Atkins, the head coach, drawing up plays on the board. All of the players paying attention. We'll see how much of it sticks, considering once you get back on the ice, uh, you just get excited and things kind of happen the way that they happen. This level, playing at hockey, it is all about the fun. It's 
It's a two-one lead for West Kelowna through 20 minutes of play, taking on the Penticton Thunder. I'm Brad Carp. Alicia Williams is ringside from the K96 3K Wake Up. Uh, so happy to be here for this day. We know how much it means to the parents to be able to watch their kids play. Uh, you know the hit, hit really has not been a fun time with COVID. That is the best part of having your kid in minor hockey is watching the games and watching their joy as they play and they score and they do all the fun stuff that they do. So happy to be part of the crew that's bringing the game here today. Big shout out to Hugh Dunlop of the West Carolina Warriors for doing the video services for this one. And we're just uh, really excited to be here and watch some hockey. It's been great. Opening face-off is won by West Kelowna down the left side. Dancing is Nick Lepetich. Lots of men in front. Backhand shot. Big save by Atkins. Rebound kicked aside, and it's taken by Benson. Four tries to clear, but West Kelowna's on the puck quickly again. Monroe can't clear. West Kelowna in the offensive zone, circling dangerously. Puck moved up to the blue line. Lost by Hubbard into neutral territory. Here's Dollywall dancing in down the right hand side, a left shot. Dollywall cuts in front, wait, shoot, scores! Esher Dollywall makes it a 3 1 lead for West Kelowna. Great move, dancing into the offensive zone, skirts down the right hand side, cuts in front of the goal, goes against the grain to score his first goal of the season. And it is goal number three for the West Kelowna Panthers here this afternoon. Esher's had a great game so far. He's been all over the ice, a fantastic skater, great hands, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. One minute gone in the second period. And it's a 3-1 lead for West Kelowna. Back to center ice we go for the draw. It is won by Penticton. And pushed ahead by Reese Verrier, one of the more dangerous players. Verrier shot from the right hand slot. Big glove save by William Pettyjohn. As Verrier has been dangerous all afternoon for the Penticton Thunder. And we'll go down to ice level with Alicia Williams. And we are joined ice side by Esher Dollywell. Just scored our last goal, number seven. How are you feeling right now, buddy? I'm feeling really good. How were you feeling when that play was going? Um, I felt like because um, my skates are really dull right now. I do have my conditioning. Well, you're definitely putting the hustle in. Do you have any favorite players in the NHL that you look up to? Who are they? And, uh, Corn McDavid. some pretty solid players. I always like the way that P.K. Subban looks off the ice. He's got such nice suits. Yeah, I agree. All right, Isha, I'll let you get back on the bench and get back out on the ice. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can they get any cuter at this age? Thank you to Isha. What great personality on the kid. Sounds like mom and dad are going to have to take him for a skate sharpening after this is done. It doesn't seem to be impacting his player or skating in any way. He may be better with dull skates than with sharp ones, the way he's been on the ice this afternoon. And a face off to the right of Atkins is won by Penticton and cleared out of the zone. But here comes Vance barreling over the line. The offensive zone has his pocket picked by Benson Ford. Stolen away by Lepetich. Down the right wing, a left hand shot tries to dance at the dot and poked off of him by Liam Pratt in the wall. Pratt will try and clear. Banks it past Tyson. Taken now by Caden Bradley, moved ahead to center, a chance for Penticton, it's Curtis Anderson walking all alone, Anderson loses the puck, feet away from the goal, Anderson with a golden chance, he had Petty John out of position, but Penticton will fire another long range shot in from Benson Ford, that one is wide, here's Anderson in behind the goal looking for redemption, a wraparound attempt and stuff, rebound chance, he shoots, he scores, Caden Bradley his second of the game, and Penticton draws back within one. Effort, 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 and Penticton not giving up on that play. A great chance for Curtis Anderson. He bobbled the puck, blew a tire, lost it. He had an opportunity to break away, but he got back on the horse, picks up the puck in behind, tries to wrap around. The puck scores free in front to Caden Bradley. He notches his second goal of the game for the Penticton Thunder, and it's a 3-2 lead now for West Kelowna with 16 minutes to go in the second period. Here's Harper intercepting in front. Harper for the Thunder. He gets jammed in front by Caleb Clark. Good defensive play there. He's been excellent. Reese Verrier moving the puck ahead to center. Lands on the stick of Logan McClellan in a foot race. He can't beat Lepetich to it. Lepetich in his own zone for West Kelowna. Tries to clear. Kept into the blue line by Caleb Clark. Fires to open space on the right side. Reese Verrier is there first. He tries to put it towards the net. In behind the goal at goals. Carter Dole chasing after it. Dole has his pocket picked by Harper. 
Little room to skate up the left-hand side. He uses the wall smartly by him and clears the puck all the way down the ice. Foot race is on. Cochran gets there first, hammers a shot towards the goal. That one's a mile wide. But he'll pick up his own rebound on the right side dot. Cochran, a nice move between the legs of Caleb Clark. But Cochran lost his footing after making the deke. And it's shoveled up the wall by Logan McClellan for Penticton. Kept in at the line by Harper. Harper, a nice stutter step move, walking in. Harper loses the puck. Rebound chance, he scores! It's Cochran in front, restoring the two-goal lead for West Kelowna. And Grady Cochran gets his first goal of the game. Another opportunity for him. You pack the front of the net, you fire shots on goal. Good things happen, kids. And there is a 4-2 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers over the Penticton Thunder with 14.30 to go in the second period. Back to center ice we go. Broden Hubbard wins the draw for West Kelowna. It's intercepted just off the line by Curtis Anderson. And taken finally ahead by the West Kelowna Panthers. Fed in front to Hubbard. Hobbs with a long range shot. Bouncing puck. Rebound chance. Big save by Atkins. Jacob Atkins diving. Looking like Dominic Hashik. The rebound. He scores. It's Anthony in front. Valton Anthony's first goal of the game. Another one on the board for the Panthers. Jacob Atkins flip flopping. Made two, three, four saves. Couldn't stop the fifth one. And a good effort for him. But unfortunately as a goaltender you can only do so much. And there's one for Valton Anthony making it a four, five to two, excuse me, lead for the West Kelowna Panthers. And we'll get a line change here for Penticton as they try and rejuvenate the bench a little bit. 13 and a half to go in the second period. West Kelowna starting to run away with this one a little bit. There's still plenty of time left. It is Adam Hockey, of course. The goals can come quick, they can come furiously, and they can come often. Center ice draw is won by West Kelowna. It's Dollywall on the left-hand side, tries to clear into the offensive zone. Taken here by Logan McClellan, a two-on-one. Can't feed it across to Caden Bradley. It's picked off by Vance and moved ahead to center. Christensen, a long-range shot. Easy save for Jacob Atkins, who's been great in this game. And I love his old-school Sherwood wooden paddle stick. And we'll head down to ice level with Alicia Williams, who has a member of the Penticton Thunder. Alicia? On the Penticton side now, we are ice side with number seven, Curtis Anderson. Kurt, how do you think the game's going so far, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good? Are you having fun out there? So you've been playing hockey for how long now? Uh, this is my fourth year. So you're basically a professional. Do you have any NHL players that you look up to? Uh, Sidney Crosby, um, Wayne Gretzky, and that's about it. I mean, those are two of the greatest players to ever have been in the game. Do you have a favorite NHL team? Pittsburgh. Is that because of Crosby? Yeah. All right, thanks, Kurt. You can get back on the bench and back on the ice, buddy. He's going. Number seven, Curtis Anderson. Thank you, Alicia. 5-2 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers over the Penticton Thunder in the second period here. About 12 minutes to go from Royal LePage Place in West K, home of the West Kelowna Warriors, of course. Penticton, West Kelowna, storied rivalry in the BCHL. Two teams that really don't like each other. And hoping we can have fans in the stands at either rink soon enough uh, to watch BCHL games in action. And we'll go back down ice level again with Alicia, with a member of the Penticton Thunder. And we're back on the Penticton bench with number four, Reese Barrier. Reese, are you having fun in the game so far? Yeah, it's fun. Is this your first game of the season? You excited to be back? Yeah, they are pretty good. They are pretty good, but you guys are looking pretty good too. Lots of people to come back. Do you have, what position do you play? Center. And do you have any players you like from the NHL that you look up to? You just like to watch all of them? That's awesome. Well, thank you for joining me, Reese. You can get back on the bench and back on the ice. Good luck. Reese Verrier, just happy to be here. and He's been uh, one heck of a player for the Penticton Thunder in this game. Certainly one of the offensive dynamos on this squad with 11.15 to go. It is a 5-2 lead for West Kelowna in this game. And it is Vaudry to take the face off for West Kelowna. Curtis Anderson for Penticton. Looks like we'll have to do the draw again. I think that Vojri is going to get kicked out of the circle for the Panthers. Looks like he's going back in. What do I know anyways? Face off just outside the Penticton Thunder zone. And it's won by the Panthers and pushed ahead into the offensive end. Back to get it in his own zone is Benson Ford. Packed at by Vaudry. He's got a wraparound opportunity. Lost in his skates. Comes in front to Harper. Long range shot. That one kicked off the skate of Liam Pratt. Redirected into the corner. Benson four, can't clear, Dollywell keeps it in a bouncing shot, loose in front, and that one scooped away by Jacob Atkins. He had 
Connor Vogel is sitting right in front. Cochran, he's got a goal. The last one in this game so far for West Kelowna. Can't clear it in front of the goal. Taken in behind by Carter Dole. On the stick of Benson Ford. Clears up the right side for Curtis Anderson. Anderson, a nifty move around his man. Trips up as he meets Dollywall at the blue line. And Dollywall will keep the puck in. Comes in front. Loose in front. Dollywall a shot. He scores! Second in the game for Isher Dollywall. And a great move to protect the puck, keep it into the offensive line, and it is now a 6-2 lead for West Kelowna. Not much that Jacob Atkins could have done on that one. A great move by Dollywall. It was a 3-on-0 with about 5 feet to go to the goal line for West Kelowna. And Dollywall going roof daddy on that one. Top shelf where Grandma hides the cookies. 10 minutes to go in the second period. And it's a 6-2 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers. Face-off is won by West K and dumped into the offensive zone. Penticton manages to clear back to center. And offside called against West K. The draw will come just outside of the Penticton end once more. And head coach Chris Atkins drawing up more plays on the board, trying to chat with his forwards, make sure that they understand the concept of defense, one I never quite grasped as a child. I still don't. And we have... Jack Monroe trying to take the face off on the wrong side for West Kelowna. Gets put back in his proper position and the draws won by Penticton. Puck cleared down to the offensive blue line by the Thunder and dumped down the ice by Ewan Gillingham. As Penticton tries to clear up the right hand wall. Caden Bradley, two goals in this game for the Thunder. The only two in this match so far. Sequin Conch clears up the right-hand side. A foot race for it now. A partial break coming down the right end. It's Logan McClellan. Shoots! Big pad save by William Pettichon. Kicking the puck into the right side corner. On it now is Sequin Conch. Keeps the puck in the offensive zone. West Kelowna trying to clear. Feet within the blue line, and it's cleared to center by Broden Hubbard. Knocked away by Penticton. Hubbard manages to dump it down the ice. Liam Pratt will circle back in his zone, pick it up behind the goal. Liam Pratt, an excellent skater, moves the puck, tries to clear, kept in by Thiessen. Scored the opening goal in this game. Thiessen dumps it into the corner, scooped up there by Liam Pratt. Shoveled away up the left side wall. Waiting for it is Sequin Khan. She tries to clear, Gillingham keeps it in a long range shot. That one is wide, stopped in front by Benson Ford. And another opportunity for Gillingham is off the mark. Ben Tickton will try and clear up the right wall. Caden Bradley does it, that will be an icing. But Ewan Gillingham racing back for it, and the icing is waved off. Gillingham up ahead for Anthony. Clears to center for Broden Hubbard, one-on-one. -on -one. Hubbard will flick the puck into open space and chase it down. On the right-hand side as Broden Hubbard likes to go by Hubs. Hubs in the corner, feeds a pass out in front. Loose puck, Anthony shoots, fans on it, and a big save for Jacob Atkins. And he releases it into the corner. Another opportunity for West Kelowna is shoveled wide. Lepetich keeps the loose puck in. Waiting down the right-hand side, he's swarmed by Penticton players. And the Thunder will clear the puck ahead. Moving it ahead is Curtis Anderson on a partial break. Lepetich on his heels. Anderson on the backhand, fires a shot, inches wide for Curtis Anderson. Chance for Sequin Khan, she can't fire it. West Kelowna. Roden Hubbard moving ahead at center, it's a three on two. Hubbard down the right-hand side. Two men with him going to the goal. Anthony waiting for the pass. That one is skirted off the mark by Broden Hubbard as Penticton will scoop up on the other end. The Thunder clear the puck just past the ringette line. They can't quite get it out of their zone as Hubbard swipes at it, keeps him in the offensive end. It's Anthony down the left hind wall. Poked away there smartly by Liam Pratt. Big hit at center by Dollywall. It looks like that will be a penalty. Body contact for Easter Dollywall. Two goals, two penalty minutes. There's no fighting in minor hockey. All he's missing is an assist for a Gordie Howe hat trick. I guess the, uh, the body contact penalty would be the equivalent of the fight, wouldn't it? Seven minutes to go in the second period. It's a 6-2 lead for West Kelowna over the Penticton Thunder. And we'll see what kind of plays coach Chris Atkins has drawn up for the power play. Pulls one of his offensive dynamos, Curtis Anderson, to the bench. Tells him what the play is going to be. Anderson to take the draw. It is a power play for the Penticton Thunder, a chance to draw within three. 
Valentison trying to line up for the draw on the wrong side of the ice. And the faceoff is won by West Kelowna. Maddox Christensen tries to clear up the right-hand side. A bouncing puck comes loose in front. Backhand swiped by Logan McClellan is wide. In behind Anderson, feeds in front. McClellan a shot. He scores on the power play. Just how the coach drew it up. A feed from behind out in front. Logan McClellan waiting. Johnny on the spot. And he marks a power play goal for the Penticton Thunder. And Penticton draws within three. Just 12 seconds into the man advantage. The Penticton Thunder score. 6.44 to go in the second period. And Penticton has life yet. Now, I'm not sure if Dollywall comes out of the box, and I assume he will. And the referee is motioning for him to exit the sin bin. A power play goal for Logan McClellan all alone in front. West Kelowna totally forgot about him. Beats William Pettyjohn between the legs. And it's a 6-3 lead for West Kelowna. We'll go down to ice level to Alicia Williams, who has a member of the Penticton Thunder. Alicia? Joined by number eight from Penticton, Logan McClellan with a big goal. How are you feeling right now, buddy? Good. Just good? That's all you have to say after that? He's so chill. He's a professional. What position do you normally play, Logan? Wing. Wing. Now, do you have any NHL players that you look up to? Uh, not really. No, not really? Do you have a favorite team? The Canucks is the correct answer, in my opinion. Are you going to get out there and try and get another one? So chill. Thank you for talking to me, Logan. Get back on the bench and get back out there, buddy. There you go. The goal scorer, Logan McClellan. Pretty calm, considering he just scored. And while you're chatting, Alicia, another one on the board for West Kelowna. It looks like it was Nolan Morch scoring his first goal of the game. And that one scores the four-goal lead for the West Kelowna Panthers. As the Thunder game possession... In neutral territory, scooped away by Dolly Wall. He just served a two-minute minor that led to the power play goal for Logan McClellan, who, considering he just scored, very calm. Harper dancing in the offensive zone around one man, tries to make it two, another chance in front for Cochran, lunging the puck into the corner is Atkins. And Cochran scoops up the rebound. Reese Verrier leading the puck up the right-hand side. Lepetic watching him, Dolly Wall pokes it away, moves it up the wall and ahead to neutral territory. Dollywall on his horse again. We've seen a lot of this from him. Dollywall going for the hat trick in all alone. Here's Easter. Dollywall backhand move. Big save by Atkins. And the play is called dead as Jacob Atkins makes a huge save on Easter Dollywall looking for the hat trick this afternoon. All alone. Atkins stayed with them and manages to freeze the puck long enough for the referee to lose sight of it. And with 5-11 to go in the second period, he hangs on for a 7-3 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers. Face off to the right of Jacob Atkins, first year goaltender. Draw one by West Kelowna. Anthony in the high slot. Knocked off his stick, puck cleared to center by Penticton. Thiessen, can't clear into the offensive zone. Poked away from him by Curtis Anderson. Here's Thiessen down the right hand side, regains possession. Swooping in is Liam Pratt. Clear to the blue line and out Gillingham. Dumps back in, his teammates have to tag up the late offside, Anthony. Can't touch that puck. His teammates waiting to tag. Monroe finally comes onside. They can re-enter the offensive zone. Here come the Thunder. Curtis Anderson leading the rush for Penticton. Moves the puck around his man. Left hand side. Anderson a shot. Rings it off the post. Great chance for Curtis Anderson. Flying down the left hand side. Long range shot for the blue line is blocked in front. Penticton pressuring now. Nathan Bester with a shot off a skate into the corner. Anderson chasing after it. Rimmed around to the open side. Only ones there are members of the Penticton Thunder. Looks like it's Reese Verrier. His shot blocked in front by his teammate Anderson. A rebound chance for Sequin Conjures off the mark. And Anderson grabs it again on the backhand. Swooped away by Gillingham. Ewan Gillingham tries to clear up the left hand wall. Conjures there first. He intercepts. Moves it to the blue line for his teammate Caleb Clark. Right in front, great one-time drive by Logan McClellan. Inches away from his second goal of the game. A centering feed poked away by Pettyjohn. But Penticton keeps it in. Great pressure here for the Thunder. What a great response. McClellan a shot. That one blocked by Tease and a rebound off him. Backhander dropped towards the goal and Anderson can't fire it home. Pettyjohn kicks out the right leg. Conch 
maintains possession, dumps it back into the corner. West Cologne is their first. A long hammering, clearing drive will relieve the pressure for the Panthers. They'll try and get a change here as the puck rolls all the way down to Jacob Atkins. And he's being told to play it by his teammates and the referees. No one around, no reason to freeze it. And he does as he moves it off to Nathan Bester. Bester pushes it ahead to McClellan. McClellan moving it in deep in behind the goal is Curtis Anderson. He's got a great assist so far in this game. A wraparound attempt jumped on by Petty John. Rebound loose in front, taken away by Gillingham. And West Kelowna will move the puck ahead. Here's Dollywall clearing ahead to Christensen. Christensen with a partial break. He's in a right-hand shot. Fires one in. Big save by Jacob Atkins. A bouncing puck. Tough to stop. Manages to hang on. And it'll be a face-off inside the Penticton zone. 7-3 lead for Pen uh, excuse me, West Cologne with 2.45 to go in the second period. Great save by Jacob Atkins. He's been pressured a ton in this game. He stood the chest really well. Both goaltenders, their first year between the pipes, a tough transition to make as a former mediocre to at best a, a terrible house league goaltender. I can tell you it is not easy. Christensen off the draw, his shot, big save by Atkins. That one squirting just by the post. He got just enough of it. A quick drawn trigger finger there by Christensen. Loose puck chased on by Reese Verrier. Dollywall able to squirt it towards the wall away from him. Morch takes a spill. A bouncing puck in front. Tripped up in the high slot is Caden Bradley. In the skates now with Barrett Scherger. He can't pull the trigger and the puck comes free to Dollywall who will just fire it off the glass and out. And back to get it for Penticton is Liam Pratt. Clears ahead. Here's Vance. Backhand spin pass. No look to Christensen off the mark. And the puck will roll down to the Penticton zone where Pratt is there to recoup it once more. Just under two to go in the second period here. West Colonna leads Penticton 7-3. Morch. In neutral territory, Dollywall working the puck around his man. Has Cochran with him, Dollywall tries to do it all himself, dancing around Pratt, Dollywall, nice move in, forehand shoots, big shoulder save by Jacob Atkins, stayed with him, great job by the Penticton goaltender, Dollywall, backhand shot, he scores! Hat trick goal for Isher Dollywall, one, two, three, count him up. First game of the season gives his team an 8-3 lead. Buck 24 to go in the second period. Easter Dollywall, his third goal of the game. He's been excellent today. Jacob Atkins made one save, two saves, couldn't make the third on him. And a great opportunity there for the West Kelowna Panthers, who have been excellent in the offensive zone so far today. Draw will come back to center. In the meantime, we'll go back down to Alicia at ice level. Side at the West Kelowna bench by Nick Lepetich. He called himself Nicholas. Very, very serious. Do you for Nick or Nicholas? I, I like Nick, but that's a good hockey name. I think that's easier to say. How do you think the game is going so far for you? I'm winning my point of it. Well, that's a good start. Are you having fun out there? Yeah. What position do you play, Nick? Well, I like goalie too, but I mean, my dad made defense. Your dad made you play defense. <laughs> oh, he's one of the coaches, so he made you. He just wants you to be a good all-around player. I'm sure that's all it is. <laughs> Do you have anyone you look up to in the NHL? Uh, Charles. Charles. Oh, Charles is a good player. And last question for you here, Nick. Do you have any life advice for the adults listening? Uh, uh, no. No? You, you don't think they need any improvement? Uh, no, I, no. They're good. <laughs> all right, Nick. Thank you for joining me. Get back out there and get on the ice, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. I think we all look up to Zidane O'Chara, unless uh, any of you watching or listening to this are also 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, Kids are too honest, they're too cute, and this is so much fun. Thank you so much for watching us on this live stream. If you are, uh, Brad and Alicia from K96, Three Columbus Classic Rock. So happy to be here today. It is a bit of a one-sided game this afternoon, but it's not about the score, it's about the fun, isn't it? And hopefully all the kids are having fun here this afternoon. I know that we certainly are. A bouncing puck cleared in the offensive zone by West Kelowna. Just under a minute to go in the second period here in this game. 
And it is the first game of the year officially for these two teams, but Penticton, they haven't played an exhibition game. West Kelowna did have one earlier this week, and the, uh, the Thunder, the team front Penticton, only had two practices before hitting the ice here today, and they've certainly shown really well. Power play goal, great feed from in behind. From Curtis Anderson to Logan McClellan in front, that was a wonderfully drawn up play by the coach. Well, if it was drawn up by Chris Atkins, uh, and they've uh, had some really good offensive opportunities, but William Pettyjohn's been excellent. Jacob Atkins has been excellent in between the pipe for Penticton. Both teams with first-year goaltenders, and they've looked really good so far this afternoon. 15 seconds to go in the second period. Penticton trying to carry the puck into the offensive zone. Up the right-hand side is Reese Verrier all alone. Verrier shoots, he scores! Reese Verrier tripped after he scores. Looks like Bobby Orr in the postcard shot. The double fist pump for Reese Verrier, dying second. Six seconds to go in the second frame. And it is now an 8-4 lead for West Kelowna. Reese Verrier finally gets one. He's been knocking on the door all game long. What a great goal for number four from Penticton, Reese Verrier. Face-off is won by Penticton. Dancing through is Anderson. And the buzzer will signal the end of the play for two periods. It is an 8-4 lead for West Kelowna over Penticton through 40 minutes of play. And this has been one heck of an entertaining hockey game. Well, these kids are having a great time. And they're so much fun to watch. And you know for you parents and family and friends listening and watching all over, it's uh, it's got to be nice to finally be able to see the kids watch and play hockey. We know how tough it is and how tough it must be with the COVID restrictions that you just come by, you drop your kid off, and you don't even get the chance to sit in the stands, drink at Timmy's, chat with your friends, the other parents on the team, and see your kids play. That is the best part of having kids in hockey. It's not just watching them practice, obviously, it's watching them play the game. So uh, we're super thrilled to be here today to hopefully add to the broadcast and viewing experience for you. And if we're not, well, tough. Too bad. One last period to go. You see Chris Atkins, the coach for Penticton. Continuing to draw a place for his team. As they try not to come back down four goals through 40 minutes. Switch ends for the third period. We'll go down to ringside with Alicia Williams. Alicia. And as we start the second period by head coach Chris Atkins, how do you think things are going after the first two periods? Oh, really good. We're, uh, we're having some fun out there, and they're, uh, they're scoring some goals. So good. Yeah, pretty high-scoring game as we head into the third here. Uh, what do you think the boys need to do for Penticton going forward? Pressure. More pressure, more shots. <laughs> well, we'll let you get back behind the bench so that the boys can get at it. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alicia. There's head coach Chris Atkins of the Penticton Thunder. And a big thanks to the parents, uh, well, the coaches for, uh, who are parents generally, uh, for volunteering their time to coach the kids. You know, it's uh, not an easy commitment. A lot of time and work goes into this. And it's a thankless job, unfortunately, at the minor hockey level. Uh, there's too many of the crazy hockey parents. I don't see any of them in the stands here today. That might be the one benefit of the COVID restrictions is that none of the crazy parents are here. But uh, shout out to Chris Atkins, Chris Dole, Will Pratt, Jason Pettyjohn, Brad Lepetich, Nick Christensen, the six coaches between the two teams for volunteering their time uh, to do this for the kids. It means so much to them. And thanks for allowing us to interview the kids, to interview you guys. We appreciate it. Hopefully. Uh, you're enjoying yourselves here today. Just about a minute and two seconds gone in the third period here. It is an 8-4 lead for West Cologne over Penticton. And an icing called against the Penticton Thunder. The draw will come all the way back to the left of Jacob Atkins. Face-off is won by Morch for West Kelowna. His pocket picked, however, by, it looks like, Curtis Anderson. Anderson moves the puck back to the blue line. Benson Ford tries to clear. Taken by Talentis in the opening goal scorer in this game. Scored a beauty on a breakaway, and it's dumped in by West Kelowna. Scooped up behind his goal by Liam Pratt. Pratt banks off the right side wall. Shoveled ahead to center by Penticton. Kept into the line by Thiessen. Another opportunity here for Anderson. Kicks the puck from his feet to escape. He's ahead off of Morch. 
Here comes Curtis Anderson, all alone, fires a shot, big left save, the rebound is scooped up by Patty John as well. A lovely stop by the West Kelowna goaltender. He gets all kinds of high fives and head pats for that one. A beautiful save by the Panthers net miner. A minute 45 gone in the third period and there is a gorgeous one. He's getting mopped by his teammates. After making that spectacular save on the breakaway, he stopped it originally in his glove, bobbled it for a second, hopped on it just before it crossed the line. And that is one that he will be uh, replaying in between his head and his ears for a while. We'll go back down ice level with Alicia Williams. And we're joined back at the West Kelowna bench by Connor Vaudry. Connor, how do you think the game is going so far? Uh, I think it's going great. It's 8-4 um, to, to right now. Step up. Are you having fun out there? What position do you play? Uh, right now, uh, right now I play left wing and center, but I, but I usually play um, uh, defense. That's good. You're all over the ice. Do you have any NHL players that you really like that you look up to? Uh, Connor McDavid. One, one because he, one because he's a really good player. Two, I like, I like his spirit. And three, he is Connor in his name. Of course, Connor loves Connor. We love it. Well, Connor, thank you for joining me. I'm going to let you get back on the ice. Connor Vaudry. Uh, Connor McDavid, a very popular player with the youngsters. No surprise there. He is spectacular to watch. And as Alicia was chatting with young Connor Vaudry of the West Carolina Panthers, Isher Dollywall, his teammate, another great chance in front and a huge save by Jacob Atkins, who has looked better and better as this game has gone on. Uh, this is his first real true game as a goaltender. He has not done this before, and he's been excellent. Squared up to the shot, a backhand drive by Dollywall, and he managed to be there and hang on to it. And a great save for the Penticton netminder. Here's Christensen with a shot off the outside post. That one recouped in the corner. Liam Pratt chasing after him. He takes a spill. Manages to clear to the blue line, and out as Dollywall had his stick lifted smartly. Great play there by number eight, Logan McClellan. Smart defensive hockey there by the Penticton Thunder forward. Dollywall trying to take the puck in the offensive zone. A strong, powerful skater. Works his way around his man. Dollywall cuts to the front. Liam Pratt is there to swoop the puck into the corner and fired in behind the goal. Intercepted by Christensen for West Kelowna. Feeds it out in front. Hopping over the stick of Ewan Gillingham. He couldn't pull the trigger on what was a wide open cage. Nick Lepetich. Shadowed closely by Sequin Conch from Penticton. And Lepetich manages to clear into neutral territory. He'll regain the puck in front of his bench and skate away with it into the offensive zone. Dances around his man, Benson Ford. Lepetich shadowed closely by Pratt. Backhand feed in front off the outside post in front. Down is Atkins. The rebound is cleared away by Penticton and Dollywell keeps it into the line. A long shot bouncing just off the mark. Pratt managed to sweep it away. Intercepted by Anthony in behind. Here's West Kelowna pressuring. Atkins, puck in his feet, he hops on it and hangs on. He had Monroe right on the doorstep. 16-12 to go in the third period. It's an 8-4 lead for West Cologne over Penticton. This is the first game of the House League season for these two teams. And Adam, quickly assembled in the last couple weeks. Penticton just chose their team name. It is the Thunder. Uh, heading into this game, I had the Penticton Adam team one on my, my game sheet. They've just had two practices together. And they're looking pretty good as this game moves on. Face off to the right of Atkins is won by his team, Penticton. They can't clear. On it is Caleb Clark. Fires the puck into neutral territory. Foot race as Talon Thiessen manages to get their first for West Cologne. A long range pass. Good job. Heads up play to find Morch on the left wing side all the way across the ice. A nice move over the blue line. Here's Morch on his backhand. Harassed by the Thunder. And the puck scooped away there by Caleb Clark. A spinning drive by Connor Vaudry. Can't find its way to the goal. Connor Thiessen manages to keep the puck in. Talon Thiessen, excuse me. Thiessen on the right hand side. Nice stutter step move in front for Morch. He'll wind and fire one just wide. A diving block attempt there by Reese Verrier giving up the body. Didn't have to, it was going wide anyways. But you love to see the effort. Thiessen, neutral territory. He and Gillingham combined to move the puck ahead. Here's Thiessen in over the line. Watch closely, puck poked away from him by Reese Verrier. Penticton having a hard time getting the puck into the offensive zone. They will clear to neutral territory. It's a foot race now. On it first is Caden Bradley looking for a hat trick. 
Bradley in on the low, right hand side, fires a shot, big save by Patty John. He's square to the shooter on the left hand side of the cage, makes the save and Caden Bradley was just running out of real estate, he had to fire it. And 5-10 gone in the third period. That save maintains an 8-4 lead for West Kelowna. Another good stop for William Pettyjohn, a first year goaltender. Face off to Pettyjohn's left. Cochran wins it back into the corner for Dollywall. Shadowed closely by Curtis Anderson. Dollywall skating up the right hand side. Watch now by Benson Ford. Dollywall moves past Pratt. Dollywall looking for the hat for his fourth goal of the game. Here's Dollywall in. He fires it just wide. Atkins stayed with him. Penticton coming up to center. Here's Curtis Anderson. Anderson down the right wing side, shadowed by Lepetich. He gets hauled down. It'll be a delayed call coming against West Kelowna. Penticton back to the power play. They're one for one so far in this game. Logan McClellan. Scored the PP marker earlier on in the second period. It took him just 12 seconds to do so. It was a feed from in behind the goal from Anderson to McClellan. That was the third goal of the game as Penticton back on the man advantage. Fourteen seventeen to go in the third period. West Kelowna leads this game eight to four. And the face off will be to Petty John's left. He points to his teammates to try and figure out where the faceoff is. It's Cochran and Anderson battling for possession of the puck. Man advantage for Penticton. West Kelowna wins the draw. And Dollywall will try and clear up the right-hand side. He'll skate it out himself. Dollywall watched by Pratt, scoots around him. Moves around Benson Ford. Dollywall in all alone looking for number four. Dollywall shoots, he scores! His fourth goal of the game, a shorthanded marker for Isher Dollywall. And he did it all himself, 200 feet. Goal line to goal line, Isher Dollywall. He's had a fantastic game here this afternoon for West Kelowna. Penticton still on the power play, a minute 38 to go. 13.55 remaining in the third period. It's now a 9-4 lead for West Kelowna. Center ice draw, won by Broden Hubbard. Dumps the puck in deep. Taken off the wall by Reese Verrier, cleared to center. Foot race is won by Thiessen, and bumped ahead, intercepted now by Penticton. Chance for the Thunder to move into the offensive zone. It's Caleb Clark poked away by Hubbard. He can't clear. That one off the stick of Curtis Anderson. Hubbard again, another chance to center. Moves it to neutral territory. Swatting at it is Nathan Bester for the Thunder. And the puck is just worked up against the West Kelowna bench. Logan McClellan up the right-hand side. Forgets the puck in front of the penalty box as Anthony will move it ahead for West Kelowna. 53 seconds to go to go in the man advantage for the Penticton Thunder. As Logan McClellan gets the skate, skate call from the bench, he can't move it around Thiessen. Hubbard keeps it in the offensive zone. West Kelowna's on the penalty kill here, but they've had all the offensive opportunities. Here's Gillingham with the left-hand dot. His shot is wide. Hacking at it is Nathan Bester. In the left-hand corner, Reese Verrier tries to clear off the wall. Bounced off, but not far enough. Anthony fires ahead to center, scooped up by Penticton. And here's Logan McClellan with a chance. Into the offensive zone, McClellan met quickly by Thiessen. He gets bumped off the puck, scooped ahead by Penticton. Into the offensive zone and in behind the goal. Ten seconds to go in this Penticton man advantage. Thunder, unfortunately, can't get a whole lot going here. Intercepted just inside the line by Curtis Anderson. We're back to five on five play. Here's a chance. Anderson in all alone, shoots the puck, fires it wide, glove side. A great opportunity, great defensive play to keep the puck in. Here's Liam Pratt dancing in off the blue line. Pratt feeds it in front, a chance at the side of the goal, firing the shot, big save by Patty John. Looks like it was number 10, Caden Bradley all alone in front looking for the hat trick here. That would have come just after the power play expired. We are back to five on five play. It's a 9-4 lead, West Kelowna, with just a shade under 12 minutes to go here in the third period. Face off to the right of William Pettyjohn. Draw one by Morch. 
Dollywall. Bumps the puck ahead, kept in by Caden Bradley. Two goals for him. Dollywall, another opportunity to clear. This time he does. We'll go down to ice level with Alicia Williams. We are joined ice side here at the West Kelowna bench by Talon Thiessen, is that right? Thiessen, Talon Thiessen. Now Talon, you scored the first goal of the game. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good about it. You look a little bit tired. They started off strong, but they can still come back. It's possible. It's definitely possible. You've been out there hustling hard. How are you feeling for the rest of the game? Getting close to the end here. Yeah, I feel like we're probably going to win. Well, that's always good. You want to have that optimism. Talon, do you have any favorite players that you look up to in the NHL? Sidney Crosby. Sid the Kid is a good one. Who's your favorite team to cheer for? Um, I have two. Either like the, our team and St. Louis. And so your team, St. Louis and Pittsburgh. Three solid choices. Well, I'm going to let you get back to the game. Any advice you want to give the people on your way out? Maybe not. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me, Talon. Get back on the bench. That's number 11, Talon Thiessen. Thank you, Alicia. And Talon Thiessen scoring the opening game, goal in this game. A beautiful breakaway effort for him. There's a shot from Dolly off the blue line. Bouncing in front. Diving on it is Atkins. That one tough to see through the crowd, but he managed to find it. And 11 minutes to go here in the third period. 9-4 lead for West Kelowna in this one. Face-off will come to the right of Atkins. Cochran will take the draw for the Panthers. It's Caleb Clark for the Thunder. Push, push, puck pushed ahead by Clark, but Penticton can't clear. Gillingham keeps it in on the left-hand side. Taken in behind by Reese Verrier, who looks like he's been moved back to the blue line later on in this game. Harper manages to maintain possession in the offensive zone for West K. A long range shot, diving on it is Atkins. He's got it in his glove, he'll hang on. That one off the stick of Christensen. And another face off to the right of Jacob Atkins. We'll go down ice level with Alicia. I'm joined ice side once again by number seven, Isha Dollywell, who got that last goal on the penalty kill there. How are you feeling right now, Isha? Feeling really good. So how many goals do you have now in this game? I have four goals. Oh my goodness, do you ever run out of energy? Nope. All right, we're going to let you get back on the bench and get back to the game. Good job, buddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> so polite, so much energy, so enthusiastic. Let's find out what he's having for breakfast. I can use some of that. Ten minutes to go in the third period. 9-4 lead for West Cologne in this game as the puck is rimmed around the right-hand wall by Penticton. They try and clear their goaltender, Jacob Atkins. His first game as a goalie. He's been excellent so far considering the circumstances. And a foot race is on. It looks like Gillingham will get there first as the puck slides just past William Pettyjohn, the West K goaltender, intercepted by the Thunder. Backhand drive in front is off the mark. Thiessen can't clear. Gillingham in the right-hand corner. His clearing attempt off the skate of Harper. Kept into the blue line by Barrett Scherger. Fed in front to Caleb Clark. Down the right-hand side, his shot, big pad save. Patty John is down, looking for the loose puck, dives on it, he'll hang on. A great chance for Penticton, but a better save by William Patty John. Another face-off coming in the offensive zone for the Penticton Thunder. They're starting to push back a little bit later on here in the third period. A 9-4 lead for West Kelowna over the Thunder. Nine and a half to go in the third period here. Face off to Petty John's right. It's Curtis Anderson taking the draw for Penticton. Looks like it was Mork for West Kelowna. That was Hubbard, excuse me. And the Thunder do maintain possession in the offensive zone. Dollywall intercepts. He'll bank off the glass. Try to clear. Kept in by Pratt at the blue line. Bouncing puck scooped up by Dollywall. Works his way around McClellan. Dollywall tries to get to neutral territory, but he can't as it's scooped up by Caden Bradley. Two goals in the game for him. Loose puck comes in front to Logan McClellan. He can't quite get there. Knocked away by Petty John. Rebound chance. Big pad saved by Petty John, who dangerously cleared it in front. But he's there to clear up his mistake. Here comes Lepetich up the right hand side. Benson Ford can't keep it in. Knocks it back into the offensive zone. Another chance for Logan McClellan. A long range shot. That one off the mark. 
Anthony on his backhand in the left-hand side in the defensive zone, moves up to Monroe. Monroe moves it back to Anthony. Pocket picked by Anderson. His shot off a of body in front. Lepetic with the block. And the bouncing puck comes back to Pratt in the slot. His shot, big save. Loose puck in behind. It looks like Pettyjohn stopped it. Somehow, Liam Pratt fired it through. Pettyjohn diving on it in behind. That one just almost crossing the goal line. Would have been goal number five for Penticton. It's a 9-4 lead for the West Kelowna Panthers. 8-23 to go in the third period here. Face-off comes back inside the West Kelowna zone to the right of William Pettyjohn. Gillingham has it in his skates. He can't clear. Kept in by Reese Verrier. Momentarily, however, as it's worked back to neutral territory by Vaudry. Connor Vaudry, one of his favorite players, Connor McDavid, because they share the first name. Also, McDavid is probably the best player in the National Hockey League these days. Gillingham can't maintain possession. It's taken by Caden Bradley. Just dumps the puck in behind the goal. That'll bounce off the lively end boards here in West Kelowna. Out in front, but scooped up by Mason Harper, and he clears it away from danger in behind. Harper. Loses his footing. Gillingham has it. Works it back around the other side. Caden Bradley, two goals for him. Right side corner tries to feed it in front. Harper gets the block. Loose puck in the skates. Bouncing puck in the slot. Cochran tries to clear. And West Kelowna will try and move it up the left-hand wall. Kept in at the blue line by Reese Verrier. Gillingham back in his own zone. Seven and a half to go in the third period. Penticton pressuring. I've heard a couple of the West Kelowna Panthers players say it. They do have a big, sizable lead, but... There's lots of time for Penticton to come back in this one. They've held the pressure, the bulk of the pressure in the last five minutes or so here in the third period. Gillingham in, his, in the offensive zone. Can't maintain ozone pressure as it's cleared back to center. Harper to Thiessen. Fallon Thiessen dancing in over the line. Thiessen was forehand. Nice move, works around his man. Smartly moved into the corner by Reese Verrier. Gets a stick on it. That offensive opportunity squandered by Penticton. Puck is in the skates of Reese Verrier. Excuse me, Caleb Clark in all alone. Clark all alone. Backhand move. Good job by Petty John to come out in front to knock away that opportunity. I don't know if he got him more with the stick or with the pad, but either way, a breakaway erased for the Penticton Thunder. So they try and claw back late in this game, down 9 4, 6.5 to go in the third period. Harper can't clear. Puck kept in at the blue line by the Thunder as it rolls past into neutral territory. Knocked off the stick of 14, Carter Dahl. And here's Harper on a breakaway. Harper to his backhand, fires a shot. Big diving save by Jacob Atkins. You can hear the hooting and hollering from his bench. Penticton clears to center. Thiessen didn't touch the puck. That means we have an icing call. And we'll have a face, face off 200 feet the other way inside the Penticton zones. Just under six minutes to go in the third here. It is a 9-4 lead for West Kelowna over Penticton. And it's Mork taking the draw for West Kelowna. Face-off is won by West K. Lepetich's shot is blocked in front by Benson Ford and cleared to center. Isher Dollywall, four goals for him. Heard him with Alicia earlier. He never gets tired, and you can tell that. Here he is skating again. Dollywall working his way through the defenders. A feed off to Christensen. His shot is blocked. Good job there coming back on defense by Logan McClellan. A power play goal for him in this one. Five and a half to go in the third. Nick Lepetic circles back in his own zone. Rifles the puck off the wall in a neutral territory where it's scooped up by Liam Pratt. Pratt tries to dance through three West Kelowna defenders. Manages to maintain possession. Here's Liam Pratt feeding a pass out in front. Petty John intercepts with the paddle. He'll hang on to that one. A face off coming to his left in the offensive zone for Penticton. 4.58 to go in the third period. West Kelowna leads this game 9-4. Only one power play goal so far in this game. That came courtesy Logan McClellan and the Penticton Thunder who are 1-2 for two on the man advantage. 
give Penticton credit. They haven't taken a penalty yet this game. Face off to the left of Pettyjohn is won by the Thunder. Intercepted and cleared to the blue line and out by Broden Hubbard. Reverse back into the offensive zone for the Thunder, delayed offside as Sequin Conch finds himself on the wrong side of the blue line. Hubbard tries to work it past Curtis Anderson. Anderson, a nice move to block him off the puck, but Anthony manages to scoop it away as he falls. Anthony feeds in front. Reese Verrier intercepts and fires it onto the stick of Sequin Conch, who moves it back into the corner. Four and a half to go in the third. Penticton a chance to clear. Nathan Bester fires it up the left-hand side. Looking for Reese Verrier. Isher Dollywall regains possession in his own end. Dollywall dancing ahead with the puck. Lepetich scoops it away from him. Off the right side, banks the puck ahead to Monroe. Finds Hubbard in on a partial break. Hubbard met Lee quick by a couple of Penticton players and the puck rolls all the way down to Jacob Atkins. As Broden Hubbard was met very quickly by a couple of Penticton guys coming in on the back check. The Thunder were already moving. Hubbard was standing still waiting to be onside. 3.53 to go in the third period. Nine to four lead for West Kelowna here. And the draw to the left of Atkins is won by the Panthers. Intercepted and moved ahead by Caleb Clark. Clark dashing down the right-hand side. He fires a shot just wide of the goal, looking for the lower left post. Barrett Scherger fighting for the puck on the left side for Penticton. Scooped in behind. And Gillingham fires it all the way down the ice for West Kelowna. We'll go down to ice level with Alicia. All right, we are joined ice side by number nine, Sequin Konga. Now, Sequin, I noticed you have really good hockey hair. Are you growing it out? Yes. <laughs> As you should. That's what we like to see. Are you having fun in the game so far? Yeah. What position do you normally play? Um, like right now, right wing or left wing. Well, it looks like it's been a fun game so far. Do you have any players that you like to watch in the NHL? No. You don't have any favorites? No. Okay, what about a favorite team? The Penguins. The Penguins? Why do you like the Penguins? I don't know. You don't know? You just do? That's okay. That's totally acceptable. Also because it's, it's one of the few teams that I know. That's fair. That's a good reason. Are you ready to have some fun finish out the game? you got three more minutes. You think you're going to get back out there? Yeah. All right, Sequin. You get out there and have fun, buddy. Thank you. Just a shade under three minutes to go in the third period. Sequin Kong. A fan of the Penguins because it's one of the few teams he knows. Here's Harper. Mason Harper dancing down the left side. He trips up and is hauled down. And here's the first penalty of the game coming against the Thunder. West Kelowna goes to the power play for the first time here this afternoon. And it looks like Liam Pratt's going to the box. Two minutes for hooking. Face-off will be in the Penticton zone. West Kelowna, an opportunity on the man advantage here to add to their lead. It's 9-4 in favor of the Panthers with 2.43 to go in the third period here. It's going to be Dollywall and Lepetich on the power play at first. Lepetich is calling for the puck from Mork if we can get it to him off the face-off. And Mork will face off against Caleb Clark. And it's draw, the draw is won by Penticton, but not clear. Kept in by Dollywall. And he does clear the zone for a second. The late offside, Lepetich can't touch it. And Penticton a chance to move the puck down the ice. Backhand drive by Reese Verrier, not far enough, but poked ahead by Caleb Clark. Here's Mork down the right-hand side as Christensen driving to the goal. Mork tries to stop off, intercepted by Penticton. And spinning the puck ahead is Benson Ford. Benson Ford manages to clear to neutral territory. Ford up the left-hand side, met there by Dollywall. Both teams battling for it as Vance hammers it off the wall to Mork ahead. It's a power play for West Kelowna, a minute 20 to go in the man advantage. Just two minutes left in the third period here. 
as the Panthers get the puck in the offensive zone. A centering feed intercepted by Ford and dumped down the ice. Great job on the penalty kill here by Penticton. West Kelowna hasn't been able to set anything up so far with a minute to go. Dollywall. 55 seconds left in the power play for West K. Dollywall dances in over the line around Ford. Moves in on his man to the backhand. Now all alone. Dollywall shoots. He scores. Number five for Isher Dollywall. A power play goal. 45 seconds left in the man advantage there. A minute 28 to go in the third. And it's 10 to 4 in favor of West Kelowna. And for a kid with dull skates, Isher Dollywall sure is moving with ease out there. Back to center ice we go. Final few moments of play here in the third period. Penticton will try and get a couple for morale here as Curtis Anderson pushes the puck into the offensive zone. Intercepted by West K. Moved up to Hubs on the right-hand side. He dumps the puck in deep. Icing is waved off. Back to get it. Reese Verrier for the Thunder. Moves the puck up the right wing. Monroe keeps it in. Taken and intercepted by Curtis Anderson. All alone, Anderson, a breakaway chase by Thiessen. Anderson shoots, big pad saved by Pettyjohn. And he manages to hang on to it, almost lost it for a second. Squeezed it up against his left pad. An excellent save by William Pettyjohn on Curtis Anderson on the partial breakaway. He had Thiessen barreling down on him. 56 seconds to go in the third. A 10-4 lead for West Kelowna. And Penticton's been pressuring. William Pettyjohn has been fantastic late in this game. Face off to the West Kelowna goaltender's left. Curtis Anderson taking the draw for Penticton. Wins it ahead, a bouncing puck. Both teams battling for it. Lands on the stick of Anderson. Scooped up now by Thiessen. He dances away from one man. Make it two. Moves the puck ahead to center. Thiessen pushes the puck up to Hubbard. Misread the play. Scooted off to the wall. 40 seconds to go in the third period. Hubbard hacking at the puck in behind, gains possession. Broden Hubbard tries a wraparound, feeds it in front. Atkins is down, swatted away. Great defensive play by Benson Ford as the puck is pushed back to neutral territory by Penticton. 25 seconds left in the third period. A 10-4 lead for West Kelowna. Lepetich hammers the puck into the corner as... West Kelowna will try and burn off the remaining 10 seconds to go in the third period here. Puck moved to center. Liam Pratt waiting for his teammates to get onside. They do not. Offside is called with three seconds left. 10 to 4 will be the final score in this game for West Kelowna over Penticton. And what a great exercise in fun for these two teams here this afternoon. This has been so much fun to watch. Both teams laying it all out on the ice, considering how early it is in the season, and Penticton only had two practices. They haven't even had a, an exhibition game yet. They've looked real good in this one. William Pettyjohn standing tall for the West Kelowna Panthers, as did Jacob Atkins. His first game as a goaltender did excellent. And there you hear the final buzzer go. 10-4, to 4, the final score in favor of West Kelowna. They beat Penticton. And they'll mob their goaltender. William Pettyjohn, as will the Penticton Thunder. And of course, with the COVID protocols, no handshakes, no line bumps, none of that stuff between these two teams. I don't even know if they can do elbows. I guess maybe we'll just have a communal cheers between the two clubs. But one of the best parts in minor hockey is the post-game handshake. And both teams just lining up the blue line here. As Penticton does their three cheers. Well, with all that said and done, thank you so much for watching this afternoon. Brad and Elise from K96.3, super happy to be here and uh, offer you a little bit of play-by-play, -play, some color commentary, some mid-game player interviews. God, these kids are cute, adorable, fun, and entertaining. And you see the two teams facing off and giving each other a communal cheers there. And uh, a job well done. And they were great. So much fun to watch this afternoon. And some of the guys that know each other from opposing teams giving each other a little fist bump. Roden Hubbard going over to some buddies of the Penticton squad, as does East with Dolly Wall. And it's all about the fun at this age. It's what it's all about and what it should all be about. So thanks so much for hanging out, watching this afternoon. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have any complaints, uh, I don't want to hear them. So thank you. Thanks to Hugh for 
offering the video services this afternoon. Uh, thank you to both West Kelowna and Penticton for allowing us to get some behind the scenes access here and uh, chat with the players and some of the coaches. And I think Alicia might have one last player interview here. We'll send it down to Alicia Williams with the goaltender, William Pettyjohn. In post game here by the goalie from the West Kelowna Adam Panthers, number 29, William Pettyjohn. Great game in that, pal. How you feeling after all that? Good. Anybody you want to say hello to watching the broadcast at home? Um, well, both my grandmas are watching, and hi. That's awesome. So how do you feel about that game? Was it a good one? Yeah. Now, very important question. Do you have any goalies that you look up to in the NHL or any favorite players? Uh, I really like um, <laughs> Carey Price. Terry Price, I think no one can argue that. He's one of the greatest goaltenders to have ever played the game. Who's your favorite team to watch? The Oilers. Why the Oilers? Yeah, I just like them. <laughs> you just like them. I guess that's allowed. Anything else you want to say to the people at home today, William? No. All right, great game, pal. Thanks. There you go, William Pettyjohn. The final word. Carey Price's favorite goaltender. As a Habs fan, I won't complain about that. He was excellent today, as was Jacob Atkins. Special shout out to both the goalies. Their first year playing between the, type, the pipes. Not an easy task for them. So, signing off, I'm Brad Carp. Alicia Williams joining me all afternoon long. Thank you so much to Hugh Dunlop for doing the video this afternoon. Uh, if you want, we'll have some audio from the game we'll be playing on the K Wake Up on Monday morning, some point between 5 30 and 9 a.m. on K96 3 here in Kelowna. Thanks so much for hanging out this afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Final score from Royal Page Place in West Kelowna. The West Kelowna Adam Panthers 10, Penticton Thunder 4.